Number 28, the angle P in radians between the pendulum and the vertical may be modeled by the equation P equals A cosine BT. Now, what the P represents is an angle, so I'm going to actually change that into theta, okay, because that's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit um, confusing if we start mixing up with our period. So that theta is the angle, and that's what the equation is going to be equal to here. Okay, so that p-value is the angle made between that vertical line and the pendulum swinging back and forth. A represents the maximum angle the pendulum swings from the vertical. So this is a starting position, and it's implied that this is a starting position. So that angle A here, this angle A between here and here, it's going to be represented by this particular orientation, which gives us an arc length of 8 centimeters and a radius or the pendulum length of 20 centimeters. So we're going to define a few things here. So first of all, the arc length is defined as the angle. So the angle in radians is defined by the arc length divided by the radius. So in this particular situation, our arc length is 8 centimeters, our radius is 20 centimeters. So we're, when we divide the two, this is going to be the starting position, which then represents the maximum angle A. So the A value is going to be 0.4 in our equation. The B value is something that we have to solve for as well. So I'm just going to highlight that. So there's my A. We've taken care of A. Now we have to consider B. Those are the only two unknown parts of this expression. And B is to do with the horizontal stretch factor, which relates to the period. Okay, so the period is our horizontal compression expansion. That relates, those things go together. And the period, to calculate the period, we use this formula. So that's the first thing I'm going to do then, is I'm going to then calculate what the period is. And when I calculate the period, I can use my, my expression the b is equal to 2 pi over the period, and I'm going to use that for my equation. So to calculate the period, which I'm going to call t, t is going to be calculated by this equation here. This is something that we use in physics. So it's going to be 2 pi square root. The length of that pendulum is going to be 0.2 meters over 9.8 meters per second and when we work this out this works out to be about 0.9 seconds represents the period okay so our period is 0.9 seconds that means then that the b value that we're looking for is going to be 2 pi over 0.9 so there it is there's my a there's my b so now i could write my equation the angle theta is equal to a which is 0.4 cosine of bt and the b value we know is 2 pi over 0.9 so there it is there's my equation that i'm going to need so then says sketch the graph that models the position and there is the graph Okay, so it's got a period of about from here to here. It looks like it's about 0.9. Okay, it's going to start at its maximum. And then the maximum angle, and then as it swings, it's going to, the angle is going to decrease to zero, and then it's going to go on to the other side, and then come back up and repeat itself. Okay, and the repeating, the, the amplitude, the maximum angle that, it achieves when it swings back and forth it's going to be this 0.4 that we have as our amplitude here okay so there's our 0.4 amplitude showing up and the period of 0.9 is showing up from here to here of 0.9 seconds okay so we had to work out the amplitude based on the angle we had to work out the period based on this formula that they gave us and then we can put that into our equation and graph it. 
Part B says then, determine the position of the pendulum after six seconds, express the answer to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Well, I've graphed this for six seconds here. And when I look at six seconds, we end up with this position right there. And that position looks like to be approximately 0.2 radians. Okay, so it's kind of halfway through its swing when it hits that at six seconds, it's kind of halfway through its swings, and it's going to be, in fact, it's going to be negative 0.2 radians. So that means that it will be on this side here, okay? And it's going to be kind of halfway through its swing, so maybe right about there is a good place to put that, the pendulum position.